time. We have FNN, Feminine Snooze Network, that Feminine Snooze that's right for you. Welcome to Sky, going live with the Movement for the People's Party, viewing watch party, and planning. And why do I say planning? Because it's time to plan and make a move, people, because it's getting over real out there with the new depression, the new aggression, and the new suppression causing a depression. So, what we got right here is Nick Brana, and it's real funny because this thing has been running smoothly, the computer, all day until I decided to play and add uh, notes and join the chat over here. And now it's flicking because I've touched the computer. But, at least they're not blocking me out. Everybody gets to chat on this YouTube. Whereas when I went to chat on the DNC, I got blocked out. And somebody else mentioned that too. Um, so I knew I wasn't the only one because they were blocking out anybody talking about Medicare for All. Well, I started the Hawaii Democratic Health Committee and then got kicked out by my own people because they didn't want to make it a caucus. They wanted to make it a committee. And I called out the operatives that were in the room and then all the, uh, I'm going to say it like it is, all the rich white people that was there trying to get uh, whatever they wanted for themselves instead of Medicare for all for real didn't see the vision in what I was saying. And they tried to basically take it over. So, you know what? At least I founded it. But you know what? I'm still fighting for Medicare for All. I'm still fighting and calling them out. And you know why? Because that's how I roll. Mm -hmm. Now, all they're afraid of is if I'm going to run for office because my platform stands strong and the people stand with me. Now, we're going to take... We're going to take a look at more of the People's Party Convention and take it on, and then we're going to discuss. All right. You guys, because of you, things have been taking place that are absolutely amazing. The American Postal Workers Union have been... Now that you hear them talking about the postal about office and how we're making a change because the we're noticing bad things happening all those kind of things. because he's uh, because part of the, the postal people, union and the postal workers union. Um, postmaster general but to stop hold doing on. what he's doing yeah. until after but I'm going to add something the to ballot that. to put in until after this election. Okay, so I'm going to add something to this. I found out through uh, watching Ralph Nader this morning getting ready for this that uh, Diane Feinstein's husband up in the Bay Area and all over California was trying to uh, dismantle post offices back in the day. And this is long before the joy. These oligarchies, this shows that all these oligarchies are duplicitous in the duopoly that we try to call our government. This is why we need the People's Party. Because he was buying up post offices for profit, trying to downsize them. And this is in the early... And this is in the earlier 2000s. And these are old, good, good mission, uh, uh, mason built buildings, limestone buildings. And, and they were selling them off all over California back in the day. So this selling off of all this postal service shit, this started a long time ago. It's all about the oligarchy and their duplicitous and the duopoly of the government because they're all the same fucking people. This is why you need a third party. This is why the postal workers are teaming up with the People's Party movement. Why? Because they know too. Mm -hmm. And if you pay attention and you know people 
that are crooked like Diane Feinstein and her husband and Pelosi and her husband and Kamala Harris and her rich ass entertainment lawyer husband you would know what's going on mm -hmm. instead of sitting back and cheering on the wrong you're hitting the ground running and boot it, to put boots on the ground in regards to building up establishing and get this party moving forward as a viable party that can go against the oligarchy and the duopoly that's controlling our lives and allowing corporations to uh, determine our outcomes in health, wealth, home, and livelihoods. So let's get together, help the People's Party movement, and FNN will be there as the Soulful Progressive to let you know on all the latest news that's going on with the People Party's movement. So if you get tired of seeing all these other indie media and you want to see a Soulful Black Progressive tell the news, baby, you know what to do. Uh-huh. Catch it with me. Yes, indeed. And if you want to contact me, contact me at feministnewsin at gmail.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and the Facebook page. And remember, I'm that social progressive one on Twitter. Got that rant of the day on blogging. And I am that one woman team. That one woman team. So if you care to donate, just contact me at the email address and we'll handle all that stuff. Yeah. So in this era of hate, you got to participate so we can get a new party to take over the place. Uh-huh. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Peace. Cornbread muffins and pies. Looking toward the brightest side.